Hey guys, what's up? It is Joe from Zombie Blizzard, and uh, today I'll be doing a uh, tutorial for Twixter, which you might have seen in um, the snowboarding video I made. Um, it basically makes your slow motion look smooth. So yeah, basically what you're going to need before we start this is um, a clip that is 60 frames a second uh, FPS, and uh, it can be 30 frames per second, but... Um, it's just, it's not going to look as good. And uh, 60 frames is really the key if you want to have fast motion. So, um, yeah, you can, uh, and we're doing this in After Effects. So, yeah. So, just make a new composition, call it whatever you want. Mine is uh, 720p, so you got 1280 by 720. And you want to work in 30 frames per second. Even if your clip is 60 frames per second, you want to work in uh, 30 frames per second. So, um, yeah got that so drag your clip um let's see there we go that looks about right let's see so first i'm just gonna do a little editing right here and get rid of the parts that i don't need you all know how to do this okay sorry if the quality looks really bad it's only displaying half right here just for the computer purposes um all right so First thing you're going to want to do is um, click this little button right here. This enables your frame blending. And then you're going to want to click on your clip, um, go to layer, frame blending, and then do pixel motion. And another thing you want to do is layer, uh, time, enable time, remapping. This will just make everything look better. All right, so you should uh, have the Twixter plugin already. It's not, it doesn't come with After Effects. You have to have a Twixter plugin. This is not a video on how to get Twixter. It's free, and you uh, you can look up a tutorial on how to get it, but this is if you already have Twixter. So we're going to add Twixter Pro. I think this is the newest version, which is 5. So, okay, oh, up here in the top uh, left, you'll want to change the frame rate to whatever your clip is. So mine is 59.94. You might have 59.97 because nothing's exactly 60. So, like, you can see right here what it is. And also one thing I like to do is I tab down in this and change the sensitivity to 100. It just works better. Okay, so once you have your clip on your timeline ready, you're going to want to go down in the effects. And then you're going to want to do output control. Now you're going to want to start back here and uh, start your clip. Set a keyframe at 100 and then you're going to move it down. I'm going to zoom in here. Keep moving. And then go to where you want the slow motion to begin. And um, here's a trick with the skiing and snowboarding. It is uh, that the skis and stuff and snowboards will have a tendency to warp. And they'll want to um, like not look so smooth. So this angle works relatively well. Um, it really depends all about your angling and how fast everything is moving. So... Yeah, you're going to have to deal with that. Um, but this one uh, actually worked out pretty well. So once you see where it wants to, once you, uh, once you see where you wanted to start, sorry about that, you set another keyframe by clicking this right here. Then you're going to press page down or whatever to move forward a couple frames. And then you're going to want to change your value to something really low, like 5%. So it'll look really cool. And this will change your clip. It'll go super slow. You can, you can go lower or higher or whatever you want, but I just like 5% is pretty cool. And then once it gets about, let's say there, we'll place another keyframe, press page down twice, or just move forward a couple frames, then go back to 100. And then your clip will look like that. All right, so if this doesn't work for you, I I don't really know what to tell you. You might have to take a different clip or just try a different angle or something, cause it does get uh, it gets kind of tricky. You gotta just get the right angle and make so that it will look good. Usually, things that are really fast moving, like feet or hands, won't really twixter that well, and they'll like look all warpy and stuff. But this one works out pretty well. And let me just show you really quick how I would uh, render this. So you go composition, pre-render, and then personally, okay, what I saw for the, what I've been using for my 
best uh, output settings is I've been changing this to actually a uh, QuickTime. Then you go to Format Options, make sure that the codec is H.264 and change the quality to 100. Um, if you want audio, you can click this. It doesn't really matter because um, you probably won't be using audio for your clip anyway, so I'm just going to uncheck it. And uh, under these render settings, you're going to want to make sure it's best, full, and whatever your aspect is. Then you want to render it in 29.97 frames per second, not 59.94. You want to render in 30 frames per second. Um, and then you just want to make sure the time is good like this. I just This is not two minutes. I want to change it to about 10 seconds. So there, got that. And then... Save it wherever you want, name it whatever you want, and hit render. So yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys all for watching, and uh, just so you know, we made a, a new video on our main channel called Skyrim in Real Life, so you guys should go check that out, it's pretty hilarious. And subscribe to our main channel, and uh, this channel, Zombie Blizzard 2, for more tutorials and things in that nature. So yeah, if you have, if you want another tutorial, for anything else, just leave a comment below. I might do color correction or anything cool. Have any questions, leave a comment below, and I will answer them. Um, yeah. Bye.